Hi there. We will discuss angle of declination and angle of dip in this video. Angle of declination arises because the magnetic north pole is about 500 miles or 800 kilometers from the geographical north pole. So you can imagine this like a magnetic axis which is running across the earth and crossing the geographical north-south axis. The magnetic compass points in the direction of the magnetic north, whereas the maps are drawn with respect to the geographical north. So there is a discrepancy when one uses a compass to find direction on a map. And this discrepancy varies at different points on the map. Here, this red line represents the direction of the magnetic north whereas the yellow line represents the geographical north and the angle between these two lines is the angle of declination. You can see that the angle of declination is different at different points on the globe and it is maximum at a point between the magnetic north and the geographic north. The angle of declination here can be as high as 180 degrees. This is the line of no declination. So along this line, the magnetic north and the geographic north are aligned and the angle of declination is zero. This is east declination and this is west declination. Declination is used to find the true bearing. So the declination is added to the compass reading to arrive at the true bearing. If it is a east declination, it is added and if it is a west declination, the value of declination is subtracted to arrive at the true direction in which the user should move to reach his destination. The angle of dip gives us the direction of the earth's magnetic field. The earth is like a large magnet and it has the magnetic field lines around it. So the angle of dip at this location gives us the direction of the earth's magnetic field. So a dip meter is a vertically mounted compass and when it is placed on various locations at earth, it causes a angle with the vertical and this angle is known as angle of dip. The angle of dip at the magnetic pole is 90 degrees and it is 0 degrees at the equator. Here I have put some visuals to help you visualize the magnetic field lines around a magnet and also the direction of the magnetic field on these magnetic field lines. A tangent drawn at any point on the magnetic field line gives the direction of the magnetic field. Similarly, when a dip meter is placed on the earth, it directs itself towards the earth's magnetic field. And this angle that it makes with the horizontal is called the angle of dip. BE is the earth's magnetic field. BH and BV are the horizontal and vertical components of the earth's magnetic field. The dip meter should be aligned with the magnetic meridian so that we get the correct values for the earth's magnetic field. Here the magnetic meridian is in the plane of the paper and the dip meter should also be placed in the plane of the paper so that we get the correct values. In this case if it is placed at any point along this line then it should be turned and aligned in this manner with the magnetic meridian to obtain the correct readings. Here the magnetic meridian is in plane of the paper and the dip meter should be placed in plane of the paper. 
but if the dip meter is placed at an angle alpha with meridian the vertical component is not affected because the direction of the vertical component does not change but the horizontal component is now computed as bh cos alpha this is useful in situations where the plane of the magnetic meridian is not known and yet the values of the magnetic field have to be estimated when a dip meter is placed on the surface of the earth the magnetic needle points in the direction of the earth's magnetic field bh is tangential to the surface of the earth and aligned with the magnetic meridian bv is radial and pointing to the center of the earth angle of declination is used in navigation to find the correct direction and angle of dip helps us in finding the direction of earth's magnetic field i hope you found it useful thanks for watching